What's up, guys? Woo! Hello. We are back with Hello. our our third <laughs> session. Probably what's going to be our, our final session of today, but you guys won't know that. But I'm telling you. But now so they you do. Know. Um, knowledge. So last time, again, this is just a very heavy um, information-based uh, set of games. Um, we found out, we saw the people in the stockade. Uh, we have them as three men, two women, and two boys. Uh, Victor, the shopkeep, is going to let us know if he gets any new and exciting things in. Uh, Gadolf Blinsky, we met him, and I bought a straw doll from him that I then uh, beat the shit out of. Um, Fun. Yeah, it felt, it felt good. Uh, we found out Fritz von Vieger uh, made a clockwork man. He lives in Rag uh, Ravenloft. And if we deliver it to Gadolf, he'll make me a sex doll, basically. And uh, make Sean over here a uh, big teddy bear. Woo. <laughs> I'm Sean. Uh, Hi, I'm Sean. So we left. Uh, Dirt and I are on our way to the blacksmith. And uh, we have Absidy and Shart uh, with Irina trying to get into uh, Rictavio's box. And we found the box, and, and there was a bunch of scraping. There's weird <laughs> noises coming from there. So, and that's where we're at. Yeah. See, ha ha. Ho. Okay. Ho -ho. So uh, we will pick up with Rufio and Dirt, going Fine. towards, <laughs> going towards the. Uh, For an hour and a half, we're just gonna sit at the blacksmith, <laughs> going to the blacksmith, shoot the shit. Okay, so if you would like, we can speed along the process. What are you looking for uh, exactly? I'm. Uh, I want to talk to Dirt on the way there, okay. and then once we once we. Um. So, we we learned a lot, and I want to keep you in the loop, Fear. You're you've become very valuable to this group. I, I appreciate that, sir. I know that you need to. Um, you need to also be privy to information. You're, you're very soon, your opinion will matter very heavily to this group as it does to me. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, and I'll just basically talk to him about what we found out at, at the, the church mm -hmm. and about Victor the shopkeep and if he needs anything and then Blinsky and uh, I'll hand him the, the remains of... Straw of puppet. the Strahd puppet. This is very weird and it looked just like him? I, it was terrifying. Should I, we take care of this? I need you to burn it with your hands. Right now? Is there an alleyway close by? I mean, it's kind of... Yeah, I mean, there are between two, like, stone buildings. You could get into a little bit of an alleyway. Alley I mean, yeah, I might have only just went out. Uh, so, real quick, in case that <laughs> this uh, wasn't recorded... Uh, all you really missed was me buying armor and stuff. Yeah, so good job, he Mike, for catching that. Yeah, um, Mike uh, caught it. Good, good call. Dirt Mike. bought um, a sword. He bought a rapier. He bought a rapier and got a shield. And he's getting all his stuff repa repaired, and it costs him a lot of money. Yeah. Summary. Now we're back. Okay. Okay. Kay. And I'm yelling potato in the train yard. <laughs> so you're you're up t against this um, cart. And you just hear inside. Is is there any way for me to see inside? There seem to be no windows. What about a keyhole? There is a giant padlock on the front of it. But I can't look through that, right? Uh-uh. Oh. Uh, I guess I got to pick it. Okay. Or. what? Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the side a little bit. Uh-huh. Just want to see if the thing inside does anything. And it, you see, you feel it slam against the uh, the cart, and it kind of goes. Oh shit! Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do. I don't think I can handle. I mean, maybe I can handle it on my own. What do you guys think? He We're says to himself, uh, by himself. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, self? I uh, don't know. But I'm curious. <laughs> Ah, okay, I'll, I'll pick it. I'll pick it. <laughs> okay, go it. ahead and pick the lock. I love it. Uh, is that sleight of hand? No, it's, no, uh, it's, uh, it's dexterity plus your um, proficiency. proficiency. Okay. Do, 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 do. 17. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Do, 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 do. 
Okay. So you you unlock it and you see this dart fly out and you kind of move to the side and it goes ping, ting 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 as you hear an unlock and you're able to rattle the chains over. A dart like a booby trap dart. Oh boy. I didn't check for traps. I did not check for traps. Okay, you're good. They're still looking for potato. <laughs> um, <laughs> potato. <laughs> Potato, I miss so you. you. <laughs> I miss you. Uh, and so you unchain and you open the doors and in the front is this cell, kind of like a jail cell, bars. There's another like lock and you can roll a investigation to see what is inside. Doof. Four. You can't see it. You move a little bit closer to the bars. Go ahead. 11. You move a little bit closer and your your face is like right next to where the bars are and you're peering into this darkness. Go. What'd you get? Oh, actually, I didn't even look. Uh, 13. 13. So you see out of the shadows, these eyes, these yellow green eyes penetrate and they look at you and you hear a and you see a paw come out and the paw is massive and it is covered in metal and you see another paw come forward and it's another gauntleted claw and you see these shoulders that are just covered in this different plate mail when this head looks up at you and is of this giant feline looking animal that has massive teeth that comes all the way down to almost its chest go ahead and roll a uh, nature check for me it's a zoid it's a zoid yes finally finally the part of D&D with finally zoid got a shield <laughs> liger <laughs> Woo. eight eight this looks like some kind of fucking mountain lion or Tiger, but it has massive fucking teeth. Getting new dice. And it looks at you and it goes. Hey. And it comes out more and more from the shadows. And you see this armor extends all the way down its back to its legs. But it's it's locked behind a thing, right? Currently. Currently. Go ahead and roll a perce- investigation again for me. Ten. Ten? Okay. You see in the corner, shredded up, to be looking like a doll, like a Vistani doll. And it says on it, is no fun, is no Blinsky on it. So you can assume this is a doll that he made. <clears throat> oh. And it looks... I have ideas. It looks around, and it looks back at you. And just, it keeps staring at you. As it slowly lo- looks forward and it just kind of nestles down, looking at what you're going to do next to it. I want to see if there's anything else useful around that mm-hmm. just information wise. Okay. So I guess investigation. Okay. It's kinked. Now it's floored. Now it's floored. 17. 17, you're looking just for anything else? Yeah, just for more information to take back to the group. You see you see blood on the floor. You see chewed up meat and bones. Things that it's potentially been fed. Mm. Okay. Is there anything I can steal while I'm here? No. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna... I think I'm gonna go. Alright, little guy. Uh... Here's a ration. Okay. Um, it's gonna pretend I was never here. And you see it move up to the lock and starts kink, kink with this. It has this skull cap armor on it as it goes kink towards the lock. Oh, you want me to? You want me to open it? And it kind of just sits back down and it looks up, and you see that there's this kind of like door hatch that you assume this is how it gets fed. That the hatch goes down. They Put it down and relocks. No one really goes through this way. And so, kink. And then it just circles again. It doesn't break eye contact with you this Potato. whole time. Potato! 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 
Suddenly, uh, I miss my potato. <laughs> Why'd you just turn into Randy Newman? <laughs> With a story about a boy and a dog named Potato. Named potato. I wanna, I wanna know if, if I let him out. I wanna, I wanna get his vibe. What's his vibe? Can I roll perception for his vibe? Roll a perception to figure out again what animal this is. Four. Four? So. It's getting the worst. I'm going to give it to you because it's funnier for me this way. This is a saber-toothed tiger in heavy plate armor. But a friend? <laughs> but he's cool, though, uh, right? Oh, I'm just going to back away. Kink. Kink. But do you see? So he seems sad? Or does he seem mad at me? And it I mean, puts, if you leave him locked in there, he's going to be real fucking Puts mad. his hands back over. Uh, I just, I feel like he's being trained to kill uh, Irina I because mean, of the doll. The doll doesn't look like Irina. I think it's, it looks like Vistani kids. I think that he's killing Vistani children. Wait. I, oh, because there were actual bones in there, too. There's right? bones in the, Yeah, but that could just be meat. But I think there's a Vistani doll in the corner. Is the doll in good shape? Bad shape? Good it's shape? It's kind of shredded up, but it's bright colors. and. Yeah, I feel like he's being trained to do that. Yeah. Not. I mean. I don't know this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is meta. This is outside of... I'm just giving opinions. Yeah. I'm trying to think what but I... But if we're going to go to another Vistani camp or save a Vistani girl at a lake, do we want to have a giant-ass saber-toothed tiger with us that kills Vistani kids? Saber-toothed tiger! <laughs> Tyrannosaurus! Tyrannosaurus! Pterodactyl! Yeah, I feel like it's just a bad idea to Mastodon. unlock the cage. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna back out. You're gonna relock it? Or you're just gonna leave it open. Well, the cage is, is still. No, open. I mean the door that was holding it, and. Yeah, I'm gonna relock it. Okay, it kind of looks back at you, and it puts its hands on its head as it stares at you. I'm sorry. Remember me. We might be back. Okay, and go ahead, roll a slight of hand check, see if you can close it without, you know, the dummy gang figuring out what'd you get. I got a one, but I'm gonna use lucky. That's a good idea. To get a nine. Sleight of hand is five, so 14. Okay. You're able to successfully repackage everything. Obviously, it doesn't have the dart on it anymore. Right. But you're able to repackage it. Meanwhile, Irina's like, oh, my poor dog. My husband is so upset. Ah, roasted potato. He's so upset. And like, I'm sorry. I don't know where your dog is. And Irina kind of looks over and sees you, Absidy. Do you give her like a signal? You're like, "I I found the dog. You're like, okay, you're just going to yell, I found the dog? Yeah. Oh, I found your dog. Oh, my God. He found the potato. You potato. hear that? Sean. <laughs> and you just push Irina and you start you jogging towards Absidy. <gasps> okay, ow. <laughs> and uh, you reconvene and um, outside of the stockyard, I'm going to guess that yeah. you're not next to the wagon again. So I opened it. Uh, it's booby trapped. Uh-huh. And there was this saber tooth tiger covered in plate mail. What? What? <laughs> yeah. So uh that sounds badass. Yeah, sounds bad. So <laughs> that's um badass. that's Super potato. Badass. I found potato. <clears throat> yeah. Uh that sounds just like Sean's dog. I just I don't know what to do with that. I thought the music guy was like my friend, but he seems like <clears throat> a dick. I think we got questions for Rictavio. Yeah. So we what we we just spend we just intimidate this man in the middle of a bar? I mean, maybe we can play music with him, get him a little drunk, have him talk a little bit. We can try to do that. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so you guys start going back to the the tavern. At this point, Rufio, I'm going to assume you and Dirt start heading back. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you all reconvene at the water, Blue Water Tavern. Time about, is it? Uh, I'd say about 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, dusk. Okay. And it's at this point so that you notice go. Rictavio has um, gotten up and he has apples in his hands and he's got one of those wolf steaks and he goes, well, I will see you in the morning, all of my new friends. And I shall uh, return. Ha- have you guys to go to sleep. debriefed me yet? Yeah, let's say I debriefed because I was... That's have what I, I was going to say. There, is there time for that, DM? Uh, I would say by the time you get there, it's five. So he's starting to pack up his stuff. Okay, have I been debriefed? Sure. Uh, Rictavio, uh, my my friend uh, Absidy told me about how uh, you are a, a fantastic 
Storyteller. I am. Oh, that's wonderful. I am. Uh, we're, we're in the mood for uh, some lovely stories. If we got you some drink uh, and maybe some food, uh, would you mind regaling us with, with tales from another place? Go ahead and roll Persuasion. Mm, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, just kidding. 12. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. I got uh, a nat 20. You're not, now. You're not, <laughs> he goes, um, really would love to. Um, I mean, I have to drop some things off first and... You know, I can... Uh, about, how, about how far? I mean, if, if it's not far, we'd love to, to join you, walk with you, talk I mean, with you. not really looking for any company at the moment. Just need to get some errands done, drop off some things at the, you know, uh, Blinsky's. Rick Tavio, yes. I didn't want to, I didn't want to have to tell you this, but our friend over there, the big green one that looks mm -hmm. really sad and dopey, he lost his dog the other day. Oh, that's unfortunate. I didn't he's realize been, you had a dog. Yeah, he had a dog. Oh, he and has since a dog. we got since we got here, he's been really up to we lost him on the trail and and he hasn't really been himself. And I think some stories some good stories will will kind of brighten his mood, bring I mean, his spirits up a little like bit. Like I said, I'll I can come back. I don't know if you understand how upset he is as a person. It's potato. <laughs> what was it what? His his name was Potato. He's um, he's our it's special a family friend. Name. <laughs> I do. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, I do have very important matters to to attend to. I will be back. I promise. I'll be back, and I'll tell you all the stories until I'm blue in the face. I mean, I just pink in the face, red in the face. Pick your color. Green. Maybe I follow him. Potato in the face. He can't even he can't even formulate sentences without talking about I... one story. Come on, what's one story gonna hurt? I'm. Uh... I promise I will do a story when I return. I promise you that. He beat he beat you by just this much, Pat. I will be I shall return. Rictavio always returns. Well, maybe we won't be here. I'll be I mean you you're staying here, you'll be here in the morning. I will be down in the morning, bright and early. More than happy to assist as well. We have a couple days. You'll be here. I will be right here. My room is right up there. Which one? The one that's locked. I have oh, stuff. the private one. Is it the big one? Bougie. You got the big the, one, didn't of you? Of course I've got the bougie one. I'm a boozy bitch. Bougie bitch. I respect that. You yeah. know what, yeah. Rictavio? I appreciate you. I like it. <laughs> and he leaves with his apples, and he has in his hands one of the steaks, and he goes, I am off. I will see you shortly or whenever. And he leaves. Break into his room. Breaking to his room. Breaking to his room. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. We gonna break it's <laughs> tonight. There's gonna be a jailbreak in Rectavio's room. All right. So I know. I check for booby traps. Yeah, check for traps. But also, how many people are in the tavern area? I would say the two, the wolf trappers are there. Okay. Um, how drunk are they? They're pretty. They're all right. I'm gonna so, like make. Do they? I'm gonna get on stage. You're gonna get on stage. I'm gonna get on stage and okay. I'm gonna start telling. Stories. Stand up. Okay. No. Stories. So, who's what? from out of town? Barovia? Barovia. <laughs> so, Barovia, What's the deal huh? with the mist? Who's from Greyhog? What's the deal with all these vampires? Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I am uh, an adventurer from, from a different place, and I'd like to share with you the tales of our first uh, journey together, me and this large, green, sad-looking man. Named Sean. <laughs> You gotta let me say my line. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Say it. He loves it though. He loves it. I love it. it so much. I need a shirt. My name's Sean. I need a shirt that says I'm Sean, <laughs> and I'm looking for potato. I'll tell you the the story of our first ever encounter when we encountered the Death House. Dun go dun ahead. dun. Go ahead and roll a performance at advantage. Because oh, shark's do I backing you up. Performance. I so do I have to roll two? two? No. Nope. He's just gonna roll. It. You, you're That's gonna, not great. You're gonna do it. 10. 10? Yeah. Okay, they're looking at you. Okay. <laughs> and before I tell the story, a round for everybody. Oh my god, I love super awesome best customer. <laughs> come on, everybody. Come, come around close. Come in. Come in. This come is a good uh, one. Sit how much down. does that cost me so I make sure I make a note? I Everyone wanna... get close to Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Like, Daddy Sean's going to tell you everything I about the so. I'll say it's about... If you do one silver, you're fine. A silver? Okay. Yeah, because there's, there's what's what, the, what's the conversion? 
to it's, for uh, gold to silver? Ten, uh, ten coppers, one silver. Oh, it's ten. Ten coppers, one silver. Mm-hmm. So how many silver is a gold? Uh, ten. Ten. Sil- okay, so I have nine silver and two hundred and forty gold. I thought it was a hundred. I thought it was no, too. Oh, you already we put in all your was, money on but the... it's not. Yeah, I already. I, I figured. Up. I figured I'd have to pay up front. He's Don't not going to just do work about for free. The beet soup. <clears throat> just kidding. All right, so I uh, and I'm telling them the story of okay. Death House. Okay, so while he's telling a story, what are you doing? I'm just adding in sound effects. Also, check for traps. Okay. Uh, so there is a. Uh, can I cast? Uh, oh wait, I don't have it prepared. Never mind. Oh, you're gonna do bless. I was gonna cast bless for him, but I don't have it. Okay. I mean, you moment. can go ahead. You, there are no traps on the door. It looks like a regular door. Okay, then let's pick that lock. Go ahead, and pick it. Pick, pick that. that lock. Slide of hand. Wait, no. What is it? Uh, it's I w- Dex, Dex plus, plus your per- proficiency. proficiency. Okay, even better. Eighteen. Okay. Wait, and so it's this one? Dexterity? So you're That's a saving throw, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, so it's that one? Four plus that would be... Oh, so, yeah. yeah, so six. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what'd you get? Uh, 18. 18? Okay. So you, while you hear Rufio talking about your great tale in the death house, you... We died. You hear <laughs> click, and you're able to open it. So you open the door, and it is a small guest room. Uh, it contains a bed heaped with wolf furs, kind of like you saw before. Before. Prefer. Prefer. Nice. A foot locker, a tall wardrobe, and a writing desk with a matching chair. There is an oil lamp that rests atop the desk near a journal bound in red leather. Ooh, I want to look at the journal. Yellow leather? Red leather? Yellow. Red leather. Yellow, yellow leather. leather. Okay. So you go ahead and you open this journal. And it's a bit of an artifice um, that it looks like it's all these different kind of like adventures that this person has gone on. Uh, It looks like it is about different acts for his uh, carnival. There's mention of uh, Drusilla. Um, There is also um, recounts of many long and tedious journeys by wagon. Uh, he's also written various oddities about freaks he can put in the show. There is the Werehair Child, which he writes is about a boy who transforms into a rabbit on nights of a full moon. There is a half-orc woman named Gorabacha who could chew, you, chew through iron chains. There is a giant man-eating plant that had the most remarkable singing voice. There are a pair of conjoined goblins at the head and a small man with no legs named Fillmore Stunk, who could drink whole casks of wine without getting drunk. It's a great talent. Hmm. I feel like that doesn't tell me much. Uh, let me check the footlocker. Uh, there's nothing really in the footlocker. It doesn't look like he keeps anything in it. Mm-hmm. Wardrobe? Nothing really in the wardrobe. There's just a few like ratty old cloaks. Nothing that you see this man and he's lavish and he lives in luxury. He just don't look like things he would wear. Hmm. There's no. There's nowhere else to check, right? Not inside, no. Should I take the book? Should I take? Ah. <laughs> Can you roll? Uh, and investigate. Maybe there's like a loose floorboard or something. I don't. <clears throat> Thoughts on that? Sure. Why not? Ten. Okay. I mean, you root around and you're, you know, you're pressing on the boards. Nothing really gives. There's no, nothing crazy in this room. Guess I leave. Okay, you leave. You also see uh, other rows of doorways. There is one. That there is, um, that says, uh, Brom and Bray on it. And it looks like it's in kid handwriting. And then you also see a very large, um, door at the end of the hallway. Um, you would guess would be, uh, Irwin's room. I'll go into Irwin's room. You're going to try to go into Irwin's? Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a... Another lock picking. Check for traps. Mm-hmm. So there's no traps. No traps. Okay. No. 
10. 10. Okay. Uh, 10, you, you're you able to bend a little bit, and no one's really looking at you. They're really enamored with uh, Rufio's story. Mm. And you open, and it, there is a matching end table that flanks a large wood-framed bed with red silk canopies. Across from the bed hangs a tapestry depicting a beautiful mountain valley, and the other walls are dominated by a fireplace and a wardrobe. Just in investigation? See if there's anything yeah. worth... Roll investigation. <sighs> One. One. But I can lucky that, yeah. right? Yeah, go ahead. Five. Five. <laughs> Looking it's around... not rolling well today. It, it just looks really clean. Nothing, nothing really crazy. It looks like the bed is neatly made. There's nothing could crazy. Could this be in the his room? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking. What was that? I said, could this be his room? Maybe he switched rooms with them. This is the fancy one. You can roll investigation, see if you find anything. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. That's a lot better. So Finally. as you're looking around, like I said, you notice this room doesn't look like it gets used at all and looking around and feeling you see there is you're looking at the ceilings and you see a small door trap door on the top check for traps i mean you gotta try to open it i mean i don't oh, know if I, you can reach it can i reach it might have to move some furniture <laughs> okay uh i move furniture chair and thing to reach do, out to do do a self to see if you're able to move it without making sound 21. Okay, so you're able to like yeesh, and so you get up and you grab the top of the trap door. There are no traps and you're able to open it. So you climb inside. This is a uh, it looks like an attic. This is a 10 foot wide, 35 foot long attic uh, and has a ceiling that slants down towards the west dropping from a height of 8 feet to a height of 5 feet. There are four straw nests that cover the floor. And a locked iron strong box sits against the north wall. A small square opening in the south wall leads outside, and two trap doors with iron hinges are set into the floor. Well, let's look inside that lock box. Okay, go ahead and try to open it. Nine. No. Ten. Well, luck ran out. <laughs> uh, you are not able to open it. Can I try again? You can try again. No. Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. Not able to open it. Uh, can I open the trap doors? If you do, you open one of them. Obviously, one of them is to that bedroom, and the other one is to... Where is P? is... Is the... It looks like the little boy's room. You look in, and there's a large Pervert. painted toy box that rests between two small, cozy little beds, and there are murals of raisin, ravens in flight... And they're painted on the walls above the wood paneling. And no one's in there? Can I investigate? Sure. So you reopen, you drop down, and you're in the little boy's room. Um, there is a toy box that contains a pile of neglected toys. Many of them are etched with the slogan, Is no fun, is no Blinsky. And the toys you find are including the following. A miniature puppet theater with appropriately sized marionettes of a king, a queen, a prince, a princess, an executioner, a tax collector, a dunce, a vampire, and a vampire hunter. Uh, there is a garish toy Vistani wagon hitched to a wooden horse and filled with tiny wooden Vistani figures. Uh, there is a pair of painted wooden clown masks, one displaying yeah. a mean scowl and the other a frightened expression. Get rid of those. There is a wooden top painted with images of scarecrows chasing children through the forest. And a stuffed real bat on puppet strings. Gross. Mm. Sounds hot. And that's that's everything that's worth investigating. That is everything. Yes, that is everything. Well, the lockbox we need it. I know. Can you just take? Can he take the lockbox, or is he not strong enough for that? The lockbox is bolted. Um, let's see here. Yeah, it's bolted. Can I jump up back in there? Try one more time. Sure. 
Go ahead. Come on. Three. Sorry. So you kind of move back down. All right. Well, I'll put back the furniture okay. that I moved. Good job. And close the door. Relock it. Relock it. And then go back down to my buds. Okay, where are you at in your story, Rufio? Uh, about how long did that take? I would say it took about 20 minutes. Uh, and then we came to this podium, this pillar, when everyone was chanting, uh, one must die, one must die, one must die. And we were like, oh, we're going to kill this guy. And we didn't have to kill that guy, because like, this big, giant, shambling mound monster came out, oh. and it was insane. And we it- fucked him up. <laughs> And we thank you. Okay. Shart. So, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Name Sean. <laughs> Leave. You have not seen my identification. Before before we f- fucked him up, he killed Potato and <laughs> 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 needed to throw that in there. Sean. Family. Potato. <laughs> How dare you bring a potato? You get his name out of your and whole we, mouth. And we, we freed those children from... Their evil spirit overlord. And they all. People. Everyone seems super into it. They're like, what the fuck? Yeah. Is Potato okay? <laughs> We're gonna find Potato. No, he's in our hearts. That, that is not the only tale that we have to tell, uh. but the only one I will leave you with this evening. My stars. They're like, they're pretty enamored with you. You did a good job, man. Yeah. So, uh, as you finish up, you're like, okay, let's hit, go back. As you see, Absidy kind of like. <laughs> Saunter. No, like sul- sulking as he's stomping his feet. Stupid lockbox. S- stupid lockbox. Yeah? Yeah, so what? 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 The music man's room, there was nothing in there, but th- everything was like dirty, and he's real fancy. Yeah. So it seemed kind of weird. Okay. But I checked the the key, the uh, innkeeper's room, Erwin, and mm-hmm. the kid's room, and uh, there was an attic. That can bo- that can join the two of them, mm-hmm. and this lockbox. But I couldn't get it. I tried three times. Isn't isn't that your thing? I isn't know. That, and you. There couldn't... must have been some sort of magic spell that stopped me. Insight. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Roll deception, Josh. Absidy. What's my deception? Sixteen. Nine. I rolled he, an eleven. He seems to be telling the truth. Uh, do you think we'll be able to get you? Do you think we'll get the opportunity to try again? I think so. It doesn't even look like they use that room. We'll have to try again another night. We have more stories. Yeah. Sh- oh God, Sean. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, One time about what camp? About what time is it now? It's about six thirty. So it's starting to get dark. Do you guys want to start heading to uh, Vandervoot? Vandervoot. Vandervoot. Uh, is um are we taking our arena? Henrik Vandervoot. Uh, yeah, and I'll also give her uh, her great sword, sword back. back. Yeah, awesome. Looked looked to be sharpened very well when it I looks inspected fantastic. it. Fantastic. Looks like brand new. <coughs> um, question. Yeah. What does that leave you with? Uh, what do you mean? Weapon wise. They traded a great sword. We traded, in, uh, so he I gave her sword. mine to use oh, okay. in case gotcha. when I got her cool. sharpened. Yeah, I have a great sword. Gotcha. Um, okay. I was concerned for a second. I was like, uh. No, it's, we're good. Um, I uh, I went to the blacksmith. He was very fair, does, does a very good job. Um, and if you guys need anything, he's he's pretty good. He's pretty good. All right. Uh, he's, uh, he's coating the outside of the claymore in silver. So... If we run into any more werewolves, that will hopefully help the cause. Neat. Maybe I'll do that. Who knows? It's a good idea. You have friends. Friend. We are the same. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so do you guys want to go to uh, Henrik van der Voots? Yeah. Go ahead and uh, roll perception for me. Of course, now I roll like shit. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Six. Six. Four. <laughs> Fuck. Tight. Oh, can I uh, roll another to see if anybody's listening to what we're saying? Because, like, I now have a direction. Sure. Yeah. It's still going to go bad, though. Yep. Five. 
<laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. Fuck you. All right, so uh, you start making your way to who's going with? What's the party? Uh, does Irina want to come with us? What are you going again? Uh, we're, we're, Remember the they, bone thing we told you about? Did they tell you about the, the man? They that, did. Yeah. Okay. The, the coffin maker? Uh, yes. Apparently he has or, or knows where the St. Andrew's bones are. Oh. If I may, uh, can I pass? Why? It's a coffin maker shop. I think I've seen enough dead people for now. Okay. Is that like cool? <laughs> Do you need someone here with you? I'm pretty sure I can take care of myself. Okay. And she pulls out the long sword briefly. Ching. Uh, I'll call over to uh, Zoldar. Yes, super great customer. Hey, watch uh, watch this lady for me. Oh, I will watch pretty lady with both eyes open. But you if you hear touch the other her, guys like both eyes open. Eyes only, no hands. I won't use, I don't need to use my hands. And the other guy goes, I mean, he doesn't. <laughs> he's thank, not, he's thank not you, lying. Zolar. <clears throat> of course. Super great man I, I am. I'll give him a piece of silver and I'm, I'm in your debt, my friend. You are so kind. <laughs> and so, yeah. I like this guy. <laughs> I, like, I like the cut of this guy's jib. What's that from? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you guys head over to the coffin maker shop. Uh, so this uninviting shop is uh, two stories tall and is a sign shaped like a coffin above the front door. All the window shutters are closed tight and a deathly silence surrounds the establishment. Go ahead, roll perceptions for me. Son of a bitch! Just I was going to say, want to borrow one of Just these? Just do it. No. 19. Five. Five. 20. 20? You got a nat 20? No, not nat, nat modded. Okay, so you two, um, as you're going in, you kind of hear the shuffling of feet about maybe 20 yards away. Okay. But, yeah. You can't make out anything else other than that, just feet. Is that the only set of feet we hear? You hear one set, and you hear, like, a clinking. Are we? Like, are you we? hear, like, a dunk clink. Dunk clink. Does he have a peg leg? Maybe he's making the coffin. Uh, That's not are inside. We, it's outside. It's outside. Yes. Oh, we're not inside yet. Got we're it. not inside yet. Oh, we we heard it outside or we heard it inside? Outside. Oh, fuck. Uh, do we go investigate that noise or do we go as in? As you turn around, knock? it stops. And as you look around, you don't see anything. Hmm. Someone guard the door? Yeah, sure. You... Stay outside. Holler if you need anything. Yeah. So I'll go in to the shop. So as you go up to the shop, <clears throat> there is... Everything's kind of like boarded up. Um, you see that the windows are barred shut from within. Um, and you go and try the handle and it doesn't work. Uh, it's I'll, locked. I'll, I'll knock. We're closed. Go away. Uh, We have... A uh, coffin emergency. Go away. Leave me alone. Please. Shop hours are nine to one. That That's kind of an early time. Go away. For... Pick the lock. Can I kick the door in? <laughs> yeah, you can kick the door in. Pick the lock. <laughs> pick the lock. Who's going to go for it first? I'm going to let him pick, <laughs> kick no. the door down if he wants to. <laughs> no. What would Shart do? How do you do? Four. <laughs> Well, here goes the strength. Oh, now I get a nat 20. Bad uh. Uh, that would be a 8 plus 5. That would be a 13. 13? 13. You're able to break it open with your foot. <laughs> and it hinges the other side. And so you're in this uh, this workshop. Yeah, uh, This real workshop great contains chart. everything a carpenter needs to make coffins and furniture. Three study wor sturdy work tables stretch the length of the west wall. Uh, and you see this man. He has this white beard, white hair. He's like, leave me alone. What did you want to do my door? We need to have a conversation. What kind of conversation? We need to talk about the bones of St. Andrew. They're upstairs in the bedroom wardrobe. That, that, You're just up. giving them up that easy? Yes. Why'd you take them? What what the hell's wrong with They're you? Upstairs, just go upstairs. They're there. I, I, please, I don't want any trouble. Absidy, go get them. Okay. Questions. 
Uh, I want to roll a perception for everything, like sure. in the area. This is concerning. Uh, that is a 19. Okay. Uh, he looks genuinely upset, and it doesn't look like he's not hes not lying to you. They're upstairs. Are they upstairs? Are they upstairs? <laughs> yes. I found them. Anything I can steal? They're in the, they're in the, the bedroom wardrobe. All right, so I go up to the wardrobe. Okay, so you go through the first door, and it is arranged haphazardly around the floor of a musty, like, L-shaped room are 13 wooden coffins. Mm. <laughs> this is unsettling. Uh. Would you like to look inside the coffins? <laughs> I really would. Okay, so you open the first one, and you're like, eh. empty. Ah, oh, good. And you slowly look through all Fuck. 13, and they're all empty. And I Why leave the lids 13? off. You can. Uh, so you start, you see there are two archways. There's one going into another room and one going upstairs. Wait, I'm, I'm not upstairs already? Nope, you're in the first floor. You went behind the, the workshop. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, upstairs. Go upstairs, okay. Uh, so you go to... Do, 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 do. There are two doors, there's one, or two entryways, there's one immediately to your right and one to your left. If I yell down, can he hear me? Yeah. Which room? Am I not? Oh. Okay. Yeah. I okay. rotate a little bit more so that it's pointing right at you. Yeah. Like that? Okay. I didn't want to be on top of it. No, you're good. Yeah, just have, you want this part pointing at you. Okay. Okay. Directions are important. Yeah. Important. So you said... I asked which room. Um, To the right, can't miss it. Okay. I'll go to the right. Can I roll insight on him, too? Sure. Uh, 16. 16? Yeah. Seems to be telling him the truth. <clears throat> so, Henrik, I just want to know, why did you have the kids steal the bones? I can't tell you that. Tell me why you had the kid steal the bones. I was forced by... Uh, intimidation. Go ahead, roll intimidation. Oh, that's what I'm doing right now. Mm. That is a 19. 15. He says, because of the vampires, the vampires made me... The vampires made you? Yes. Vampires and if you talk too loud, they're going to kill you. What? So, Absidy, <laughs> as you're going oh, through fuck. the kitchen. So, the first door to your right is the kitchen. It contains a square table surrounded by chairs and shelves of provisions. Oh, and you make your way to the back of the bedroom. There is a modest bed chamber. It holds a cot, several well-made pieces of furniture like oak, cherry wood, including a table padded chair, a bookshelf, and a wardrobe. Dirt's with us, right? Gonna go to that wardrobe. I think so. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and you look in the wardrobe. Go ahead, roll a wisdom perception check for me. Use that one if you want. Wisdom? Mm-hmm. Uh, 13 and 1. 14. 14? Atta boy. So you're going in and you're kind of putting your hands around and feeling for different kind of compartments and you find one. Uh, there is a, a um, secret compartment at the base of this wardrobe and you open it and you find two sacks, a large sack containing the bones of St. Andrew and a small one containing 30 silver pieces and 12 of those other eclectic pieces. And the, then the, the, the Illyrium. The Illyri yeah. Yeah. Now, Go ahead, roll investigation on the coins for me. Twelve. Each coin here bears the striking resemblance to Strahd von Zarevich. Mm -hmm. In profile. Special, special silver. Go ahead and roll a perception for me. My perception. Eleven. Okay. So you start to leave. No? Yeah. Okay. There is a uh, oh, a room ahead of you, though. The one that was on the left? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I'm going to check it. Okay, you go in. There is a large, drafty room, and it's strung with cobwebs and takes up most of the upper floor. There are stacks of wooden planks and lie... Um, stacks of wooden planks lie amid several different crates marked junk. I'm going to open them up. At least okay. open up one. So, let's see here. There are six crates at the northern part of the room, and there are two at the southernmost part of the room. Where am I coming in? You're coming in from the south part of the room. Check one of the south. Okay. Uh, it just it looks like old junk, like old papers and like old tools that are kind of blunted out and grossed out and just stuff that you normally don't use. So real junk. Yeah, just real junk. Check the ones in the north. Okay. So you open one of the crates. When the DM smiles, it's too late. It is too late. <laughs> You open this crate, and it is just covered in just dirt. There's just a, like, filling the whole thing up to the tippy top is dirt. And as you're looking in it, you're kind of, like, peering over. (laughs) Hand pops out. And it clutches the edge of this crate. And you see this very deformed-looking fanged beast that just looks at you. And snarls as you see the other crates, five more of them. Guys. Roll initiative. Oh, fuck. This is going to be a bitch and a half. Oh, my God. Please make this the lowest roll that I have. What is it? (laughs) Two. Okay, I'm going to go through. Hold on. I got to. There are six of them. Holy fuck, Knuckles. Ah. That's what AppCD would do. You're not wrong. No, oh my yeah. god, am I rolling all sixes for these? Thank you. There's one that's not a six. I got 19. Who oh. got over 20? Nope. Over 15. 16. He uh, got 19. Six. He got 19. Okay. Okay, over a 10. Uh, I got an 11. Okay. What did uh, dirt roll? Oh. Okay. Six? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, you got an 11? Yeah. You're not, you're not having a good day. <laughs> We're all rolling terribly. I've, I've been a pretty okay, but like, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you rolled a strength check and you rolled a 13. Yeah, but I was also the only person that hit Strahd with an attack. No, no, no. I, I'm not saying that that's yeah. a thing, but like you get Rufio, plus like you hit? a 2. Uh, you get like plus seven on your strength throws. That's on a strength save. Right, I only get on. plus five regularly. I oh this. darn! Pause the episode. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, while he calls us, can we be like? Can I be conversing while be game I planning? G- game planning? Uh, yeah. We're gonna be game planning. We just said guys. Well, <laughs> I want to go. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Vampires. Is it potato? Uh. If he says vampires, can I cast Shield of Faith to start? Like, while I'm running upstairs, can I cast Shield of Faith? Okay, Absidy, you're up first. Eek. You just see this... Uh, Attack! Okay, go ahead and attack it. Eleven. Eleven does not hit. Okay, then I disengage. Uh-huh. And, I, and I run away. Start running. Giggity gone. Okay. Hey guys. You swipe at this vampire and you just whoosh, totally whiff it. Mm. And it gets out. <laughs> um. It is going to climb towards that wall in front of it, and then it is going to climb on the wall, spider style. What? On the sides, and it's gonna come to about. Fuck here. Okay. Do um do they have any weapons of sorts? They do not. Okay. It's claws and teeth, right? How many attacks do they get? Are you allowed to tell us that? You'll find Fuck, out. That one of them hits you. Probably three. Oh, lovely. So it is dirt next, and he's like, "What the fuck is that?" Okay. Um. And you see, he puts down the shield and he takes off the gauntlet, like his hands, and he puts them out. 
Let's see if he's able to do anything with it. It's a bad time not to have Mongo's Claymore. <laughs> <laughs> that um, thing just does damage. I'm going to roll his damage with it just in case. And he misses. So you see, and he's trying to concentrate. And he's trying to do the fire, but it's not... It's like, it looks like it's changing. Like, it's different. Like, he's doing a different incantation, and it's just not working. Shart, you're up. Okay. Um, let's see where I'm at. I'm going to assume you're raging. Yeah, I'm not rage. raging. <laughs> raging. Raging. Cajun. <clears throat> If you move one closer, then I'm next to you, and you get... Oh, here in this one? Yeah. Is that, is that, is that so? Yes. Yeah. He's within he's within five feet of me, so now I'm at advantage? Yeah, because <coughs> each one is, is yeah. a five foot. Okay, just making sure. Even you're behind me, so that means... Yeah. Uh, that is 19, and that is 21. All right. 19. Both hit. Okay. And I am using my brand new... Devil blessed mall. Go for <gasps> it. Uh, that is uh, seven plus five, so mm-hmm. that's twelve points. Uh, well, actually, plus two. That's fourteen points of uh, bludgeoning damage and two points of fire damage. Okay, so what's it all together? Fourteen or sixteen? Sixteen. Are vampires weak against fire? He's gonna look it up. I feel like that's a thing. Holy um, water, steaks, fire? I think so. Maybe. I mean, you could be right. The sunlight, I know. Sunlight's that, bad. That, that's my thought. Is yeah. It? So you, you bash into this thing and you singe a little bit of its hair. It's like... Okay. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. So, hold on. I gotta get up. Okay. It is Rufio's turn. Oh man, they all had the same turn. Those those ones. Did. Well, yeah, they all rolled like sixes. Um, casting <coughs> Hunter's Mark isn't a isn't a bonus action, right? It's a my action. Correct. Uh, I can't get to him anyway in this turn. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna stay. I'll I'll use my movement to. You can move further up if you went at a diagonal. Oh, could I? Yeah. So I was here. Yeah. So you're talking like one, two, three, four, five, six, or six? Yeah. That's still not in range, though, is it? No. 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 Okay. Uh, so I'll cast Hunter's Mark on the the first one. Okay. The HBIC. <laughs> the yes. head bitch in charge. <laughs> That's two spells already, but I like the one that I have currently. What so. was the other one you cast? Uh, I cast, and it was on myself, sorry, Shield mm-hmm. of Faith. So that makes your AC 20, right? My AC's 20. Oh, shit. I get plus two to my AC. That's pretty dope. For the yeah. whole... For, t- for 100 rounds. 100 rounds. For 10 minutes, I get I get it. What's, what's, going, on? what's going on there? I'm just marking it so I know, it. I know which one's which. It's a lot harder. <laughs> Zombie one. number 24. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, to mark what order they go in? Yeah. So if I'm like, which one's that one? You just look at the bottom and tell me. Zombie. That one is... I'm sorry, vampire. 16. Vampire. Vampire. It's a zombie. Boy. Boy. It's a little girl and a zombie. It's a little girl, a little girl on the horse being chased by a zombie. $50. Dad, <laughs> uh, Dad, think about what you're getting. <laughs> okay. Absidy, you're up. Ow. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm going to sneak attack forward. Going to jump in front of this little pocket area. Okay. Sneak attack with my rapier. Rapier. Uh, 18. 18 hits. She needs to get dice. So that's what. Oh, way to be unprepared, Josh. Look, we haven't had a fight this entire time. That's true. We, and now well, we have we the, did and you weren't a part of it. the <laughs> deadliest encounter fight we've ever had. Okay, so it's an 8. Uh, to be fair, I don't know sixes. about that. Because he said the Shambling Mound should have killed us. So yeah. This is more but, dangerous than the shambling. Okay, just kidding. I lied. <laughs> okay. Two, two, three, and another th- three. So what'd you get? 
all together. Ten. Ten? Ten. Okay. And you slice back and uh, you're, you're see which one did you hit? Uh, uh, the front that one. one? The hunter's okay, mark. Okay, so you hit up and you just slice up and you slink right back down. Hunter's mark's two D6s, right? It is. But yeah. only for him? Only for me. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Let me give you the, uh, the book. Yeah, I have nothing but time until my turn. <laughs> it's going to get overwhelming soon. Okay, so it is going to go ahead and it is going to claw at Shart. That botched. Okay, does a modded 20. Modded 20 is going to hit. Yeah. Okay, you take... Okay, you take um, seven points of slashing damage as it slashes you in the chest. Okay, so that's half to four. <sighs> One D six. Okay, and then Dirt is going to. Okay, everyone's blocking everyone. No, this is good. Uh, uh, dirt moves over this way. He can get that guy. He's gonna. Dirt, you look so big. <laughs> Dirt, Dirt is And then buff. I'm going to have him pull the rapier and shield up. Okay. Oh, so he's just going to hold Does his... that bring his AC up as well? Uh, holding a shield brings his AC up by two. He is at 18 AC. Nice. Dope. And him needing the shield. Okay. Uh, Shart, you're up, man. Okay. Um, flank, so I got advantage. That is a uh, 17. 17 hits. Uh, that's a 25. Okay, so... Uh, so that is six, seven plus five. That is twelve. So that's fourteen points of bludgeoning plus four points of fire. So eighteen. Eighteen points of damage. Okay, good hit. Okay, and still going after the HBIC. Yeah. So you you smack the fuck out of this thing, and it it lunges off of the wall, and now it's just in front of you. Uh, okay, it is vampire spawn turn. <laughs> oh. Oh, that one gets more? No. Oh. It's just all he needed to use. So there are two. Both of them are going to make attacks on, respectively, uh, Shart and um, Absidy. So first one, uh, Absidy does a 14 hit. Yes. Okay, and oh, then it's going to... It's going to try to hit you again. Your armor class is 13 also? Mm -hmm. So Damn. it hits you It hits you twice. Uh, and then let's see where we're at. You're a potion guy, though. Yeah. You have so many potions. Oh, wait. No, you have... No, I have the healer's kit. He's got the potions. You have mm -hmm. all of the potions? So first yeah, you take all of 10 points of... I, I marked them down as me having oh, them. Okay, cool. 10 points of slashing. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> we might need to bail. Christian bail? Christian, we might need to Christian bail. So, it's going to grapple you instead of uh, giving you any more further damage. It grabs you and you're like, Ugh, Gah. and then the other one is going to attack you, Shart. Uh -huh. Does a... <laughs> yeah. I'm making a face. 22 Josh hit. Just give me a merp face. Yeah. Here's the other one, 22. Come on, Titty. Because these these uh, two on the wall can easily flank us, and that's so what I see So you take 14 points of slashing damage, have down to seven. I think it might be worth bailing. And the next. I think you need to stand back and just shoot stuff and see if we can start killing some things. <coughs> okay. He's grappled Dang. me, so I gotta get out of that. That's but, true. But so it is Rufio's turn. Uh, I'm gonna attack. <coughs> I'm gonna, I guess I'll move. Is there is there a move? For yeah. me here, is you can somewhere? move right can... in front of uh, Shart. Yeah, you can move right. So in front you can okay. move here. I'm gonna move right in front of him right. and uh, attack HBIC. Okay, go ahead and attack her. Oh, please, please, sweet baby Jesus. That is a 17. 17 hits. Uh, oh, and he's the one with Hunter's mark as well. Right. 
Uh, four, eight. That's thirteen plus three is sixteen. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Sixteen points of damage. Sixteen points of damage. It's a very good hit. And you see this searing like flesh kind of just bubble and pop. Absidy, you're up. Okay. Uh, how, do I get, how do I get out of a grapple? Is it a strength check? Ugh. Fuck. <laughs> he, he, you, oh my god, you're fucked. Yeah. Uh, 11. 11 does not make it. You try to struggle and then the grip just gets tighter as its mouth starts unhinging. Oh no. Its jaw. And there's nothing else I can do, right? So, next spawn is up. It's going to go ahead and attack you, Rufio, because you just fucked it. Yeah, I did. Just fucked my ass. Yeah, I did. And it did not hit you. So, you see it, like, scratch at you, and it just scratches at your armor, and you're like, oh, God. And it's just all hands. So, Dirt is going to attempt to break the grapple. Absidy, yeah. Correct. I support that. He's like, okay, okay, I got you, I got you. So is he going to, like, blast him, or is he going to so try and he, he goes in, and he grabs with his hands. He starts pulling the vampire spawn's arms open, and uh, Absidy, you just drop. You drop down, and then I'll prone. give you a free... Prone. I'll give you a free um, moving action to see if you want to distance a little bit. Okay. Do I have As, to disengage? I can just move? Yeah, I'll let you move. Because he's currently... He's got him. They're currently dirt engaged with him. dirt. Okay. Then yes. Um, yeah. And then he's going to bounce off <coughs> and keep the shield up. And he's going to stand in front of you, uh, Absidy. Okay. And then Sharp. Okay. So uh, HBIC or the one other one that attacked me? Uh, it's up to you, man. I mean, HBIC has taken over 50 points of damage right now. Um, actually, 60 points of damage right now. I mean, we should probably start doughing up the other ones. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Then. I'm still flanked by Rufio, so that's good. Okay. Um, I got advantage, so that was uh, 14. 14? Uh, 14 misses. Okay, so then at advantage, that is a 19, so that is crit. Yep. That's a nat 19, sorry, I should say. Go ahead. So that's double everything? Yep. It's just like you did nice. a 20. I thought I lost something. Okay. Uh, so that is t- 10 plus 15 plus 5 is 20, 22 uh, plus uh, 5 of fire. So 27 damage total. Fuck yeah, Mike. And you see him, and I he's like, like <laughs> he's like, Key, yeah! and he just bashes into this uh, vampire, and you see the flesh start to burn and pucker. Uh, let's see here. It is. It's a all vampire of round. <laughs> it's all of their turn. So there are two vampires. One is going to go ahead and attempt to fuck up Shart, the one that you just burned. Bring it, bitch. Okay. The 16? Yeah. Okay. And that is a 22. Okay. So first one is... Uh, eight points of slashing damage. So just four. Potion duty. Yeah. Shoot. Shoot arrows and, and then be on you see duty. the um, the vampire grabs up both we'll of your arms. We really got I really think they're going to try to flank. Um, oh, turn. I'm grappled. I think so. On your next turn. So, okay. And so the second one is going to go after <clears throat> dirt. You son of a bitch! How dare you? But and we just got to get with the shield. Down. You just see him. He's just Before. batting people away like fucking Captain America. He's just like. Gish, gish, gish. He's already used the things shield are, more than I've ever used Things are scraping it. against it, and he's just kind of, like, holding on, and he has the rapier down. Uh, Rufio, you're up. Uh, I'm going to attack uh, HBIC. Okay, go ahead. Please, 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 please. Seven. Seven does not hit. So you go up, and it just 
you're telegraphing it way too much, and she's able to just move. Oh, Absolutely. She. Cunt. You're up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move up just a little bit so mm-hmm. I can get a shot on. And then the one that is actually, if I'm at this angle, can I get a direct shot at HBIC? Um, I think it's you might going have to be more. It's partial covered. Over. So I would say you can take a shot, but it'll be a disadvantage. No, I'm just going to go for this one then. Okay, go ahead and see if you can help chart our dirt out. 11. 11 misses. Okay. Uh, but I can't bonus action to a potion. You can on yourself. Haha, I'm going to do that. Which is 1d4? 2d4s? 2d4 plus, uh, 2d4 plus 2 for a regular two. potion. Right. 2. 1. So five. Yeah. Okay. So you heal five. Yeah. All right. So he, HBIC is going to go at Rufio again. Yay. So 18. Nope. And shield of faith. 18. Okay. So they're just clawing and you're like, okay, this is helping. This is good. <laughs> uh, and then dirt's going to be up. Just a pencil. Let's see what you're oh, it's here. I can do that oh. one too. Yeah. It was in my book the whole time. Oh, wow. Dun, dun, it was dun. in your heart. All the long. But actually in the book. dirt. Okay. All dirty. And so date. he's going to swipe with his rapier. rapier. And that is... Josh has it. 1d8 plus 3. Yeah, it's his dexterity. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, they have the same dex? Weird. You guys are basically the same person. What? So you see dirt, and he puts the shield oh, up, and with the other hand, he flies up. Shing. If your dexterity increase, then... That would increase that bonus? Correct. Sweet. That's good to know. And so that is... Okay. How and many points then... of damage did he do? Wait, would that, wouldn't that Shark, increase this stuff, too? Oh, me? you won't tell me? Because that was probably my strength. That's He's is our teammate. That's not nice. No, I think it's his strength. Okay. Um, should I take out HBIC or keep going for the other one? Uh, Josh said we needed to take the front one out. Okay. So yeah, the, the fewer things we can have attacking us, yep. the better. Uh, that was a 14, which does not hit. That is a 24, though. That does hit. Okay, 24 hit. Yeah, hits. Go ahead. So Again, this is at HBIC. That is 7 plus 5 is 12 plus 2 is 14 uh, plus 3 of fire. That's 17. 17? Yeah. It looks pretty charred up. It looks like it's on its last legs. What's the damage count, Mike? Um, a <laughs> lot. Uh, in the meantime, it's time for all of my vampire buddies to move. We're going to do... 77? 77? On the main one, yeah. So these two are going to be... I'm going to put them in the same space, but they're going to be upside down. Oh. Of Rufio and uh, Shark. Shark. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, and then we're just going to do a whole bunch of attacks. Cool. So first we're going to move uh, towards where you guys are. So it's going to start with Dirt and with Rufio. And that is higher than 18. Okay. Do you <laughs> think better standing up? Six, seven, Feeling it right now. That's all. I get it. Sitting for a long time is rough. <clears throat> and also, I'm tense. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It, is. it takes a good chunk of uh, dirt. Like, it takes a good chunk of his neck out, and he starts Garlic bleeding powder. profusely over his... Uh, over his armor as this vampire just latched into him. Uh, okay, so it is going to be four attacks against you, Shart. Yay. Four? That's so many. Okay, so first one is a 22. Second one is 17. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then that one doesn't make it. Um, 12? Nope. Okay. And 11. So let's see here. Two. Only two? Okay. All right. That could have been way worse. Wait, are you grappled? Not anymore. Oh. Are you? What What broke the grapple? Oh, we didn't... We didn't do that. Roll a strength check first. 
Actually, it's not your turn yet, is it? Yeah. No, he had his turn. Yeah, we, for, we it. forgot it was, about that. Okay. So, so he. I mean, you can undo that. What was it? Seventeen. Yeah, seventeen points of damage. Okay. So it unhinges a jaw and it crushes into your your shoulder blade as you take. Um, Six points of piercing damage, and seven points of necrotic damage. Halved? Are those? Are the already halved? I don't believe you get necrotic damage halved. You might have to look it up to see what you get in your rage. Because there are different types. I think it's psychic, necrotic, and radiant. But it might just be psychic. Um, where would I find that? Barbarian. Up? So go to your barbarian class, and it should be under rage. It's in alphabetical order. If that helps. Yeah. Okay, while he looks up that, Rufio, they're going to attack you four times. Cool. That's caught. Okay, that hits. Um, no, that's not 20. That doesn't hit. Okay, so only one hit. Lucky you. Cool. So 47 take, points of damage. <laughs> you take... Um, so it says I have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. So that means. So you take the full seven. I take the full seven of the necrotic. Okay. So you take uh, seven points of slashing damage. Rufio. All right. That puts me down to. I believe down to uh, 14. That's where I'm at now. Okay. Uh, My turn. Rufio, you're up. Uh, did we leave that 17 on the, the lead vampire or because Mike was technically grappled during that or so we, no. so it's the next, so it didn't get hit by anything. Okay. Was grappled. I was just making sure, um, then I'm going to make an attack on that one. Head the bitch the head bitch in charge. Uh, that is a modded 21. Yep. That hits. Uh, should I only have one smite? Should I dump it now? Try and kill it. Uh, insight, it looks pretty fucked up. Never mind. Let's see you call. Uh, I'm going to reroll this one because I can do that. That's a four, nine, 15 plus three is 18. Okay, so you're able to decapitate it. So head bitch and charges out and you can move your hunter's mark. Uh, I'm going to move it to the one that uh, attacked Shark. Uh, that he is also... Uh, well, no, I want to move it to the, one that's unattacked so far. Probably the one that's on the ceiling. The one that... I'm going to say the one that was on the ceiling dropped down as soon as the other one dropped. Wait, why the one that's unattacked? Uh, so I can do more damage to it. Then you, we should kill the one that's most likely to die first. You mean the one that's... So do, the one that already has put damage on it? On the one it? that has... That's covering I want short. one with no damage on it. Okay. So you're going to do the one in front of you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Absidy, you're I'll up. I'll attack the one that's in front of me, and he can attack the one that's in front of him. I can't attack the one that's in front of him. Oh, you can't reach that one? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. I got you. Uh, okay, also, up. quick question. Sure. Um, so I get uh, 2d6 plus 3 with my greatsword. Is that plus my strength? So would it be a 4 now? I think it's a 4 now. Okay, cool. Just making sure. I'm going to make that adjustment now. This uh, The the one often in the... This that guy. Yeah, is he dead? He's dead. Yeah, okay, that's yeah, knock, knock that bitch over. HBIC. Knock that head bitch in charge over. Okay. <clears throat> so, I mean, Absidy, you're up. Okay. How are you guys doing? I'm looking rough. All right. I've, He's a 14. I'm at 14. Okay, what about you, Rufio? I'm at 29. Okay, so let's see. I can... Uh, my bonus action would be the potion or hiding, right? Bonus action would be your potion or hiding, correct. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is the one that's on uh, dirt. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to sneak attack. Okay. Uh, bow. Which is 15. Uh, 15 hits. Cool. You won't go down, though. You get one hit, yeah. hit point back, so you can go down to zero and yeah. pop back up. Okay. okay. So that's the one that has an unknown amount of damage on it. Okay. Because Dirt's attacked his it. DM's been a dick and won't tell us. <laughs> He's just being DM. Three, Don't call him a dick, because then he'll kill us. 6, 8, plus 4, 12. 12? 12 okay. points of damage. Okay, and you and see it with your rapier? Uh, no, with my short bow. Short bow. So you see this arrow sink under its rib cage as it lets out this howl. And then my bonus action, I will come over toward right behind mm -hmm. and shove a potion down uh, Shart's So throat. to give him a potion is an actual action. To give yourself a potion is a bonus action. Oh, I thought I could. 
You can you can like hand it to him, but it's gonna be an action for him to take it and then I can't shove it down his throat. No, that'll be an action. Can I undo? Sure. Okay, I want to undo that. Fuck the roll, and heal him. Okay. Pushing down his throat. Got it. Okay. So you jump on Shark's shoulders as he's grabbed, and he's like, oh, go, go. and go ahead, roll two d four plus two. How much health do you have total? No, Nine, 19. 19. Total. Uh, 38. 38, okay. He's half. Well, I've got the the greater, which I'll do. Oh, yeah, which next. is four D4s. Yeah. I'm telling you, let him go Let him go down and come back up because he gets one hit point. He gets revived. Yeah. And well, then... I'm, I'm just worried that if that happens and it's on the second of a third attack. Yeah. No, I understand. I understand. Okay, um, so Absidy went. Uh, it's Dirt's turn, right? Uh, no. And my bonus oh, yeah, action yeah. is hiding. No, it is. It's Dirt's turn. Are you gonna, yeah, I was gonna say, dip back and hide? Are you gonna hide behind Dirt? Uh, I can. I, I don't know if it matters. I mean, it's just <coughs> farther back. I don't. Yeah. You're well, our potion guy. Well, my, guy my right actual now. hide action means I can't be seen. Oh god. So I don't think it matters where I stand. So I'll stay close. Cool. Thanks for hanging out, man. No problem. Fist bump. Oh god, we're getting attacked. <laughs> okay. Is dirt hit? Nope. Dirt goes ahead and he slashes again oh, at fun. the uh, the I vampire in front of him. But, but does so, he hit? No. Yes. He does hit. Okay. So he makes time to throw that. Fucker. That's definitely time to throw that. All right. Shark, you're up. Man. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go back at the one that I fucked up on that one turn. You have to break the grapple first. So you oh, break the grapple. strength check. Yep. That is... Is that a saving throw or just a strength check? Strength. Uh, 19. 19. So you're able to... And you break out and you're like... Yeah, now I'm fucking raging. Go for it. Uh, that is... That's a hit. Okay, so 24 to hit. 24 hits. And which number is... Oh, okay. That is 9 plus 5 is... 14. 14 plus 4 points of fire. So that's 18 points of damage. 18? Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay and it's just you see the, the smokes singeing off of its uh, chest as uh, it's the spawn turn okay so we're gonna do four down again uh, Rufio you're at two again I'm at two again okay cool Only five left, guys. Yeah. Hooray. You definitely did act in character, though. He would have gone through all the boxes. Oh, he would have, yeah. He would have gone through all the boxes. Plus six is... 18. Okay. Um, full disclosure, dirt looks fucked up. Bad. And he, he's down on one knee and he's breathing heavy. <sighs> okay. Gonna attack Shark. What is okay. Dirt's total health? We don't know. Do we know at 32. all? 32. And so two of them are gonna hit. Actually, I need, I think it might just be easier if I do this. I don't know if I have to know the command word. Or if it's something I think you get to come up with it. You didn't look up the command word. You have to give it. I have to. Wait, I have to. You pick. have to inspect it. No, there is a command word. It's on oh. it, but mm. you didn't inspect it. Okay. Well, <laughs> that was. It was bonus, a good thought. Bonus action. It was a good thought. Or it could be my. Yeah, it could be my bonus. Okay. Um, bonus Shark, you take about. I can shove a potion down the throat. I, I think it was something. ten points of okay. slashing well, damage. So have that to five. You can shove a potion down your throat. Oh, okay. And then Rufio's turn is just going to be two regular attacks. So that hits. Boo. And 19? Nope. Okay. So one of them hits. <sighs> this shield of faith is dope. <sighs> Box okay. of faith. You take eight points of slashing damage. Cool. What are you sitting at, Shark? Um, 14. Okay. And know. then Back where it was. <laughs> Rufio, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna attack the one in front of me. That is a 16. Okay, 16 hits. 
cool. Uh, should I dump my smite into this and just try and like eliminate one? Yeah, the or at least more, get real close. Yeah, the sooner we can get rid of them. Okay, the uh, smite is no two D. So. Yeah, I know, but a smite. No, it has. No, it does. Doesn't. It have the hunter's mark on it? It does. Okay. Uh, smite is two D8s, right? You need a D8. No, uh, yes. So it's you're gonna be rolling three D8s because you have your weapon damage and then the two D8s with it. Unless, My weapon is, what, is D6. Great sword D6. D6. So, okay, so 2 D8s and a D6. Well, 2 D6s is 3 plus D6 is 3 D6s, is 2 D8s. Yeah, 2 D8s. Yep. Plus whatever your bonus is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did I do that? There it is. That one. I want that one, and I want this one. Cool. Wish me luck. Yeah, I'm going to reroll this one. Great. <laughs> 12, 14, 18, 24. 24, okay. 24, yeah. Uh, it's a it's a 17, but it's plus 4. 17. Yeah. 24, kya! Okay, uh, so while I calculate this, Absidy, you're up. Figure out what you want to do. You need some health? Um, dirt. Dirt needs it more? Give it to dirt. Yeah, dirt is looking bad. Okay. <sighs> okay. Then I will use my... I'll use I'll use one of the greater heels okay. on dirt. Shove so it down four his throat. Four d fours. Yeah. Okay. It's four d fours plus two or four d fours plus four. Nice. He's been super valuable in this fight. Okay. Um. So fourteen. Good. So he is, he's basically at half. He's like, ah. And you see some of the wounds starting to, to close up as it is Dirt's actual turn. And he is going to... Okay. Uh, he is going to... I feel like this isn't, this isn't his. This is one of the um, Warlock ones. Okay. Let me see if I can find his. He, we, he never had one of those. I don't yeah, think. I know. It was in your binder. Oh, I made him one of these, too. Okay. Dirt? Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure it was in your binder. Uh, I'm glad I knew. Ooh. It, is it on the back of his sheet? I might have, like, condensed them. I don't remember. Oh, it is. Nice. Good job. Good job. Oh, good uh, job. Good job, Springer Homester. Okay. And I'm a wee bit. For some reason, the internet doesn't want to work for me right now. The internet? Absidy, how you? Just, how you doing there, bud? Oh, I'm okay. I'm a little, uh, a little worried. Shart. <laughs> you, you alive? I'm doing it. I got potions. <laughs> we need them. It's a good thing we bought all those to use <clears throat> in this specific fight, <laughs> and not when we go out adventuring. We'll buy more. True. And. Shart, you can make him now. Yeah. Okay. He is going to Yo. push back. It's going to have an attack of opportunity against him. Does miss. So move uh, dirt back about three. One, two, three. Okay. And then he's going to go ahead and let's do fireball. I need to write down his shit. No cards. Okay. And he's going to make an attack. I am out of spells, just so everybody knows. That's a thing. Yeah, but you still have your light on hands. Yeah. Well, I was just saying, I don't mean I don't have a spell to cure anyone anyway, but I don't, like, I dump my smite, Hunter's Mark is active, and I just, I, and I use Shield of Faith. Did he hit? He hit. Yeah. See this fire just envelop the, uh... Vampire, is it? Okay. Uh, it is Shart's turn. <clears throat> okay, so that he's hit that guy three times now with an unknown amount of damage. So that's good. Question. Sure. Um, when I'm going for this hit, I still have somebody above me, right? Correct. Um, can I go with a upward swipe down and hit both of them at the same time? I'll give it to you. Go ahead and roll uh, Smart. two attacks. Uh, that is a 21. 21 hits. Um, that is at advantage, so that doesn't count. That is a 22. Okay, both hit. Okay. Um, so do I have to... Would it be the same damage for both? Let me switch one you're at. 
Uh, yes. Save, oh, so both are going to just get the same amount of damage? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is 5, plus 5 is 10, plus uh, 12, so pl- plus 2 points of fire, so 12 so damage total. 12, okay, 12 and 12. Actually, no, no, 14. Sorry. 14? Forgot the rage damage. Okay, so 14 and 14. Okay. Whew. That was a decent idea. I had one of those. <laughs> okay. Um, it's at this time that we're going to go through our another vampire round, but you start seeing the wounds start to close up on the vampires. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. I forgot they did that. Yeah. Shit. Um, that's so changed to that. Consolidate on one. Okay. And yeah. so we're going to go through a barrage. Here comes Shark. Two. <laughs> uh, what's 15 plus eight? A hit. <laughs> It's 23. Plus eight? <laughs> Shit. Uh, you take uh, five points of slashing damage. Okay, so, half so that's to half three. to three. That's not even that bad. And Rufio, they're coming after you. Of course they are. I work for Jesus. 19 <laughs> is Less the up. highest, so that it, doesn't hit. No, it doesn't. Uh, Rufio, you're up. Sweet. I'm going to attack the one that's in front of me with my great sword. Okay, that's my one that I have labeled as number four. Can I see the uh, oh. player's handbook real quick? That's a nat 20. Ooh. Yeah. That's a nat 20. What, on his nat 20, does that count on Hunter's Mark? Hunter's, getting it double? does count on Hunter's Mark as nice. well. So four? So, uh, it's six, it's actually. Be a lot. Six D4s. He's doing a lot. I need another all one. Right. Another D6? Yeah. I got you. Okay. Use one of mine. I want to be a Okay, ball. all right. <laughs> okay. One if yours ball. rolls bad, I'm going to be upset. Oh, no. <laughs> Mine's going to roll bad. It's okay. <laughs> eh. Maybe it's not okay. Mine did well. I'm going to reroll this one, because I can do that. Yay. 10 plus 12 is 22. Plus 3 is 25. Plus 4 is 29. 29? 29. And the one in front of you? Yeah. Let's see. What number is that? That should put him at like 54 points of damage, I believe. 3? So 22? 29. Uh, 29. It's cool. Okay. It is Absidy's turn. Thanks, guys. Okay. No problem. Happy to help. This is one of the new ones. Okay. So, how you doing, Shark? Just, uh, don't worry about me. You sure? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> uh, You're up. You're up, champ. I'm up, champ. Okay. You're then I'm, champ I'm going to, you. I guess, attack. Attack the one in front of me? Yeah, can I? Because I can get into his space and attack and then jump back. So I'm going to sneak attack that the one sound. in front of him. Sure. With a rapier. The one in front yeah. of me or the one in front of him? Him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the one that's lower. I just fucked that thing up. Yeah, fuck it up. 13. Mm. 13 doesn't it. All right, well, I'll drop back. Okay. Hide. And hide. Uh, it's Dirt's turn. He's going to go ahead and... Do a fire blast. Do another blast. Volume six. I'm doing an uh, Eldritch Blast. And <laughs> firebolt. And you see his his hands light up, but they're not diminishing the energy that he's trying to output, and it's not working for him. Sharp. <clears throat> I was going to say, can I do the same thing I did last time? Try and swing on them both? I'll give it to you. That is a 19. Uh-huh. That is a natural 19. Okay. Um, now, on both of these, so both of these, since I have advantage, since I'm flanked right now, uh, is it double on both of the attacks, or it's going to be one attack for both? Okay, so all right, well, natural 19 is a crit, so that works there you for go. me. <laughs> um, <sighs> Whew. I believe in us. Okay, uh, six. I also eight. thought we might have to run away, but I feel okay. Six plus <laughs> yeah. knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> eight, 10, 11. Plus five is 16, plus two uh, with rage is 18, um, and plus four of fire damage. So that is 22 total on each of them. Okay. It's not as big as my hit. Uh, Rivalry. Now's not the time. <laughs> okay. So uh, on, from my estimation, that's hitting number two and number five. So, so you managed to get rid of number two? Sweet. Woo. Fuck you, number two. And number five just <laughs> slaps back down and... You start seeing seeing the wounds start to heal back up. So we're at that. We're at that. Uh, two There's one of them that still hasn't taken any damage, is there? I think right. it's this is the one behind. Yeah, the one this that's kind of hidden behind everybody. That yeah. is. 
<coughs> yeah, but coming up here Hold soon, we sh should be able to flank it. Whirlwind. Okay. So the one in front of dirt looks brand new. Oh, fuck, Knuckles. Oh, he healed that that's much. That's not good. Uh, Rufio, you're up. Cool, I'm going to attack the one that's in front of me. Sure. Uh, that's an 18. Okay. Oh, I didn't make him attack. Ah, I'll go for the next yeah. one. So, 18 hits. Okay. They were tired. I'm going to reroll that one. So you can... Damn it. So you can reroll any one. Mm -hmm. But you got to use it. Yeah. Uh, 8... Plus four is twelve. Fuck okay. you. Okay. Uh, How's Absidy, it looking? You're up. <clears throat> okay. It's looking like you got a shit ton of vampires still there. Well, I mean, like the one that I attacked in particular. It looks beat up. Well, I'm gonna beat it up some more. I've done so much damage. To you. Gonna do the same thing as before. Sure. Uh, nineteen. 19 hits. Yeah. All right. Of course it does. Yeah. Fuck that vampire in its butt. Maybe. Ooh, okay. This is good. Uh, 14, 17, 21. 21, 21. points of damage. Will Willy wa. Willy, 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 willy. Uh, that is nice. Okay. Uh, and, and then hide. Hide. <laughs> okay. And then don't look at me. Everyone roll perceptions for me. Okay. Oh, no. Thirteen. Ha! <laughs> One. Okay. Perception. Nineteen. Nineteen? So it's at this point you start hearing a commotion downstairs. And you hear a shuffle. And uh, kind of a... Uh, you hear Henrik kind of a... Uh, uh, and you hear clomp, click. Clomp, click. Clomp, click. Like footsteps? Footsteps. Okay. Um, let's see here. So it is Dirt's turn. So Dirt's going to go ahead and he's going to try to magic missile this bitch. Can we barricade the door? Uh, I don't think we have enough time. I don't know if that would count. If we can do that, as, is that a thing? It's going to be an action. Yeah. you got to all disengage. Or you're oh, all we all have, have to disengage to well, do it? Well, who's going to barricade it? Mm, yeah. There's no crates over there. I could... I mean the junk the the junk one is isn't it? Can we? Yeah, use but that? that's blocked by two peep two vampires to to get it all the way over here. And you see these three holy not holy they're light emit from Dirt's hands as they go from his forearms and it stabs into this thing's the, chest. The guy that was in front of it that is now healed. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. I'm just and track then on... Shart, you're up. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Okay, so now I have two in front of me. Um, can I do a big old side swipe to try and hit them both? That feels like you a can stretch. Only hit one. Okay, that's fine. Um, um, I'm going to leave you with. Should I take out the one that you're working on, or should I go for the one directly in front uh, of me? I kind of feel like we should just. Three is better than four? Yeah, whale on one. Okay, uh, so the one that's directly in front of Pat is the one that I'm going to whale on. Um, that is a 21 to hit. And that's a 20 to hit, so, okay. Uh, that is 10 plus 5 is 17, plus 2 is 19, plus 4 10 points. 10 plus 5 five. is 15. Uh, 50, oh, 15 plus 2 is 17, plus 4 points of fire damage so is 21. One? 21 on that guy that's now dead. This one? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping track with my math over here. I know that guy's fucking done. Take that god. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, I'm not going to make the mistake again. Yeah, he forgot to attack in that. Oh, no. But I'm hidden. He's hidden. He's behind. He was going to go behind Shart, so I mean. Well, he was behind me. He attacked the one in front of me, and he hid behind me. The one's going to move regardless. That's true. You're right. That's what I meant. He's Sorry, just going to move behind Shart. I no, apologize, Christ. <laughs> Our Lord and Savior. Craig Christ. Do you have the book? Yeah. So it is going to be an 18 to hit on Shart. Yep. And then second attack is a 13. Ah, it's my AC. Okay. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, so that one is 
That one's fine. We should get a shit ton of experience for this if we survive. <laughs> Six and... When we don't survive. And that one's fine. Okay. Um, that is... So the first one's going to be the claw attack. And then you're going to grapple you. So six. Nine points of slashing. Okay, so five. You're at five? No, no, I'm, I'm that gets they half, half to, five. to five. Yeah. So I'm down to six. Okay. And then there is and I'm another now. There is an uh yes. There is another one next to you. On to yeah. in front of you. So mm-hmm. he's gonna go ahead and swipe at you. Uh first one is a natural thirteen. And then twelve plus eight is modded twenty. So it's going to go ahead and Ruh-roh. it's going to, yeah, it's going to bite you. Um, you take six points of slashing damage, or piercing damage, half to three, seven points of necrotic. So I'm back at one, because that would, that would take me down. Well, yeah, you went so down. The bite, and then there is a claw attack. Well, I'm already down. But you got back up. Oh, Got that it. that takes effect immediately. Like he would jump right back Once up. Once you hit it to zero, be... you. Oh, that's not great. Okay, well I'm dead. <laughs> so you're out. So you take uh, three points of slashing. It's once you make negative of your full hit points, then you're dead, dead. Uh... So the other vampire just drops you. Hey, Absidy. This last <laughs> one is going to swipe at Absidy. Eek. Does a 19 hit? Yes. Does a... What's a plus six? 14. 14, 14 yeah. hit. Dope. <laughs> For me. <laughs> okay, so he's going to claw you once, and then he's going to rapple you. All right. That is not good. Well... You take eight points of slashing damage, and you are grappled. Okay. Okay. Uh, real quick. Yeah. Looking at fast hands, it says that I can use an object as my bonus action. Mm-hmm. So I I could shove it down his throat, right? Isn't that using the the I, object? I guess so. I just I'm just trying to figure out what I yeah. can do. Um, I, th- you know what? I think that's I think that's true with fast hands. Okay. So moving forward, you're like, I'm going to use fast hands, and then... And then that'll tell be me that okay. that's what you're going to do. Cool. Okay, uh, Rufio, you're up. Uh, so this one has him grappled. If I move behind it, I would attack, it, attack at advantage. Uh, it has uh, Absidy grappled. Uh, not really. No? Because advantage means, like, you're flanked. Meanwhile, Absidy's just kind of in a bear hug, and you're like, well... Well, I think Fuck! That, I think that's why he was specifically saying if he went behind it. Yeah, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't count as one. Okay. As okay. A... Um. <clears throat> which which of these has damage on it, and is it a lot? Is it the uh, one that's direct? That one should have a good amount on it. The far one. Do, do you, uh, how do you feel about doing a strength saving throw? Me. Yeah. He doesn't have a choice. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's so, what I'm saying. Here's the thing. I have a negative one. Yeah. But I have a potion. Yeah. That can give me 23 strength for an hour. Plus six, so right? plus six. Yeah. So you, if you so do I, that... you got to get that? to it at your belt because you're kind of like, you're at this. So I wouldn't be able to use it while I'm grappled? You'd be at severe disadvantage. So I'm kind of... What, what's my play here? Am I going for a vampire? Am I going to pick Shard up? Am I getting you out of grapple hell? What's what's my play? What do you guys need? You can't use Lay on Hands as a bonus action? No, it's an action. If I can get out of the grapple, I can use... Well, D- Dirt's going to have a, a, a turn as well. And I think he's before you. So no, he's he right can, after him. Is he right after he's you? He's right after him. He is. Mm. So Dirt's pretty good. If yeah. you can get me out of the grapple, because I have my action and my bonus action with flat, fast hands, I can shove two potions. Okay. And two potions me. for shark? I could do one to one person and one to another. I don't need a potion. I'm okay. Well, I'm, I'm, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I have that uh, that action. Okay. So now that, because I could then attack. And well, yeah, I'd like the attack more than anything, to be completely honest with you. Right. Yeah. Um, so what are we doing? I'm going to attack. Would that If I attack this one, will it let go of Absidy? 
Um, I'll have it roll a concentra- concentration, see if it holds it. Okay. Um, okay, I'll, I'll go back and um, attack this. Well, I guess I would be behind it so that I don't hit Absidy. Sure. I hope that I land said attack. That's not going to do it. What is it? That's a 12. 12? No. You you kind of swipe at its back, and it kind of chuckles at you. Both of you, Sweet. roll perceptions for me. <clears throat> See if that clicking gets closer. Uh, that is a modded 20. Okay. Eight. Eight. So you hear coming up the stairs, clip, clink, clip, clink, and it's sped up at this point. Uh, Absidy, you're up. Okay. Uh, strength saving's the only thing I can do, right? Yep. Five. Okay. Uh, Dirt is gonna try to shake you loose. And he's gonna go ahead and do a strength v. strength. Okay. Um, you see him and he starts to try to pry and he's like, let go! Come on! And it's just, you're still stuck. Uh, Shart, do a death saving throw for me. Pass. Okay. Uh, it's vampire burn. Um, so they are going to move over Shard's body because I'm that nice. Uh, if they attacked with that, what would that do? It'd get it's, some more damage. It's, a, it's in whole oh, it, Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> okay. They're all looking pretty good right now. Mm. As you see more of their wounds start to heal up and f- close. Um, okay, one is going to... Shit. Okay, I'll make one of them go after uh, uh, dirt. <laughs> so, I'm going to make both of them go after dirt, and then one of them is going to bite you. Okay, that is, that hits, and that doesn't. Okay, and then the next one hits, and that one's cocked. Wish it was cocked, okay. I like dirt, that's why. I love dirt. I said it was like his love child. This is, this is appropriate music. This is very appropriate. If you guys could hear right now, it's uh, it's it's very disheartening. Yeah. And I'm super concerned because... Okay, you see two... And dirt, you see the color leave his cheeks as dirt is down. Oh my lanta. And the next one just moves over. It's going to go over to Rufio. So I'm going to have... Oh, it already attacked. Yeah. So... So it doesn't have its movement? Yeah, so move it back. My bad. And then the other one's going to bite you. He's going to bite you. Okay. Okay. Um, you take six points of piercing damage and seven points of necrotic damage. You take 11 points total. Okay. How are we doing? Seven. <laughs> Uh, Rufio, you're up. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what to do. So, he let go of the grapple, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're gonna want to potion yourself. Yeah. Um, because I don't know what the fuck is coming up those stairs. Right. Um, and I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna move next mm-hmm. to Absidy so that he can hide, um, when it Afterward. comes to it. Yeah, when it comes okay. to it. And I'm going to attack the one that's now in front of me. Okay. Which one is? This one? Yeah, the one in the back. Sixteen. Which one is it? This one. Yeah. Okay. Sixteen hits. This one has not taken any damage yet, so there you go. Uh, thir- to seventeen points. Seventeen points. Good hit. Um, Son of a bitch. Da da. Hooray, vampires. We've killed three, and I was like, I'm feeling good. And now we're like, shit. <laughs> oh, boy. I forgot they get healing at the beginning can of the round. Do, That's why. Can you do, do you want to do 
uh, a potion for you, and then run Roll back and a potion for perception one last time for Shart for both of you. Thirteen. Oh, eight four. What, what was it? Eight, I got four. 13. thirteen. Eighty-four. He rolled an eighty-four. Four. He knows everything. Okay, I you hear know. coming up the steps. Kink, 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 and you can decide to turn to it if you want. I mean, I hear a hoarse voice that says, uh, move as far away as possible. And you see this hooded red uh, cloak. And you see um, this hand pull out uh, two vials of water as it chucks it at that vampire right there. Juan. Uh, it's I Juan. I needed the book again. I'm sorry. Anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, it's going to hit the one that uh, is currently grappling out of city. There's a one. There's not one grappling. Oh, it, it, it broke it. Yeah. It broke out. It's the one in front of uh, okay. Rufio. The one in front of me. So she or he tosses two um, vials. Water does damage. Why weren't we just spitting on these motherfuckers? It's either? holy water for sure. <laughs> I know. Your spit should be holy spit. That's true. So <sighs> that was which one? Number five. The one, yeah, one of number five. number five. Ah 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 ah. And ah. you see these glass vials shatter, and it starts searing into its skin as it lets out this howl. And uh, the the hood kind of comes back, and one hundred percent, it is Gal Gadot. Yeah. Dark eyes, dark skin, pulled black hair, and I think at that we're gonna finish it. What, what? in the middle of a battle? In the middle of a battle, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, it's up to you. Yeah, you're the DM. I don't know. This suspense. We can. Let's do it. Let's end it. That's what he said. Take a picture. What? No, I want to finish this. Take a picture of all be your three stuff. Weeks until we play. Oh, uh, we'll check the calendar. So yeah. With that, we will end at Curse of Strahd. I will give you. Uh, I will give you a good description of her. Um, I actually, I'm so mad right now. <laughs> like they are wearing um, armor, obviously, and they have one metal prosthetic leg. That's what I thought it was. Pay and they're holding. Edward. A, and they're holding. You see on the side, hand hip, hand axe, and you see a long sword attached to the back where the hood put, peeks out, and she has this. Intensity in her eyes. I'm in love. Love. Okay. Well, Bring thanks for Bring thanks for Mike watching looks this. So upset. I'm oh, sorry. Dude, I'm so pissed. I'm at you right sorry. Now. Thanks for watching us get our ass kicked, and then uh, Deus uh, Ex Machina uh, saved. Huh? Some of us Deadly got their asses kicked. Leave. You want I'm more? Well, still, okay. we're not doing great. <laughs> it's not the best it's been. But I uh, hope you liked it. Like, subscribe, smash that motherfucking like button. Follow Top Tabling on Twitch. Yay. No, don't, don't. He's not, he's not letting us finish. <laughs> don't follow him. <laughs> All right. Until next time. Love you guys.